All right, just to finish this equation from class today, um, we came up with this equation right here after I'm using substitution method from the system that I created from this word problem. Um, the first thing I would do is distribute this 7.04 to the x and the 25. Um, what that would give us here is 13.90x plus 80 equals, then we get 7.04x, and then plus, what if we get is 7.04 times 25, and I get 176. Okay, and so then what we need to do now is uh, combine our x's together. What I'm going to do is subtract 7.04x from both sides of this equation. I'm subtracting that so that I can cancel out the x's on the right hand side. On the left hand side I got 13.9x minus 7.04. In my calculator I just subtract 13.90 minus 7.04 and what I get here is a 6.86x's and plus the 80 equals in the right hand side I just have 176 left. Then I'm going to subtract 80 from both sides so I'll get 6.86x equals 176 minus 80, which is 96. And then I'll divide both sides by this 6.86 to get my x value. And when I do that, uh, what I get is just about 14. So I get that x equals... 13.994 will round to the nearest tenth, which would actually round us up to 14. And so we have our x value here. Uh, we need to find out what our y value is. We'll go up to our equations to figure out how to figure that out. So let's see, x represented here, the number of pounds of the chocolate that we used. Uh, y is the, the amount of the final mix. If we want to find out y, we could just use this formula right here of x plus 25 equals our y. And so in this case, we have x equals 14. We're going to use the equation that x plus 25 equals y. Our x value in this case is 14. So 14 plus 25 equals y, which is 39. And so we've solved for both variables. And then the end of the question, we just wonder what they're asking. And again, this, ninth, this 14 right here represents the number of pounds we'd use of the chocolate. And the 39 here represents then the final amount of the mixture. 